is the tournament. So the topic is sports. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. The topic is miscellaneous, meaning it's different. So it's sports, and I so know question, I mentioned it. All right, I'm thinking of number between 1 and 10. This is to see who goes first. I'm thinking of between 1 and 10. This is the tournament. Quick question. Yes. Like, is this a, each person gets asked the same question, each person gets asked a different question. What's going on here? I'm gonna. All right. The first person. I'll just say you. All right. I'm gonna ask Matt side this first since Mike has the light pop in his hands. I'm gonna ask you a question. If you get it wrong, Mike has a chance to get it right. Okay. And that, then I can smack you in the face. <laughs> now you have to get four <laughs> questions right first. I feel like or this is turning into a slap bet. This is not. Sl this Please. is very close to a slap Question bet. number one. Let's get yes. some bump music okay. going on. All right. What's some good bump music? Pick something cool. I don't know. I don't know. Like I have to go, go with power. Power. Yeah. Where's that at? Down and to the right. And down. Kanye West. Right here? Over. Over. Oh, there it is. Okay. Except Mad Scientist got to bump up the high key. All right. Question number one to Mad Scientist. What is, what date is St. Stephen's Day? St. Stephen's Day. We are going to say that it is April 27th. That is incorrect. Question goes over to Mr. Mike Pereira. Mike Pereira, what date is St. Stephen's Day? Can we ask you questions about St. Stephen's Day? Yes. What day is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't give you that answer. Okay, well, I can not tell you what day St. Stephen's Day is, but I can tell you what day St. Totterham's Day is, okay. and that is... Next question. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Name the original eight reindeer for Santa. Donner. And Prancer. On Donner and Dancer and Prancer and Cupid. Vixen. That's four so far. Vixen. Blitzen. Vixen. Dixon. Vixen. Oh, uh, what, what was that? What you said? I said Blitzen. No. Blitzen. Vixen. Nice save. Too. Oh, okay. B. What? So what, what do I got? You have six. Blitzen. What are they? You said Donner and Blitzen, Cupid and Dancer and Prancer. Comet. Comet and Cupid. Comet and Cupid. That is correct. That is one Boom. point to Mike Pereira. <laughs> Next question Comet goes over to Mike Sanchez. Uh, Mike, uh, Mike Sanchez. <laughs> Mike Sanchez. My name has now changed entirely. <laughs> I'm not even the right. same nationality anymore. Tony, name the largest freshwater lake in the world. Ah, uh, this one. All right. I can tell you it's in Russia. <laughs> the largest freshwater fresh lake, fresh water lake now. in the world. That's the deepest, isn't it? We're going to so go with the largest, largest as in size. So we're going to say that it's Lake Superior. That is one point for Tony, tied 1-1. One, one. Next what? question goes... It's not fair. Next, Next question goes to Mike. Mike, where is the Sea of Tranquility? The Sea of Tranquility is located in the land of Tranquil. <laughs> on the planet Earth. <laughs> Right? It's on Earth. It is. So I win. It's not on Earth. But it's on Earth. Actually, it's, on, Earth. it's, it's on, on the moon, I do believe. That is another point for the math science. Wait, 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 you said C. That, yeah, that means the sea, sea of Tranquility is a region. The Sea of Tranquility is a region no, on the moon. that's not a region. A sea has water. There's no water on the moon. Next Dude, question. You're trying to deal with science. <laughs> it is 2-1 cool. with Tony. First one to four gets it right. Tony, two away from smacking you in the face. Mike, I never agreed to that. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. We have witnesses. Now, Mike, <laughs> what color jersey is worn by the winners of the stage of the Tour de France? Tour de France. Is that the gold jacket? Yellow, but that is also correct. Boom. That is tied two two. Mike and. I'm glad you got that sports That's question. Right. I might have been questioning <laughs> you for that. Did, one. You, did you just flinch? No. I think you just flinched he, because future me slaps you so hard it reverberates back to the present. Oh, no, 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 no. I was cringing at your children Ooh. flinching. Ooh, See, wow. that's what was going on. Because future me hits you so hard. Next question goes to children. Tony, Tony, next question. Name the actor who starred in 142 films, including The Quiet Man, The Shootist, The Searchers, and Stagecoach. We are going to go... Let's see. Let me think about this. Uh, Jen, don't help him out. I've <laughs> been Googling this question so much. She gave him the reindeer. Mike, are you on your phone? Totally even. I'm texting Alicia. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Alicia's name is Google. Um, <laughs> anyway. No. Uh, three seconds left. <laughs> We're 
going to go with Nicholas Cage. That Nicholas is Cage. not correct. Nicholas Cage was not in 142 films. Thank Just God. Right John Wayne. The answer. John Wayne. That is correct. Boom! That is 3-2. Mike over Tony so far. <laughs> Mike has one point away from fulfilling his long-term dream. He is getting ready to bat in the cage. With the lollipop. Everybody in the batting cage. In the batting cage? There's no cage okay. or batting right. cage. Okay, <laughs> But it's a batting cage. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to reset your bumpy. Now for that. I'm going to reset it? Okay. <laughs> Double click that. So, right now, score is 3-2. Mike is leading Tony by one. And it's cool. It builds suspense. It does build yeah. suspense. Okay. I got this. Now, the next question. This uh, which were... <laughs> I'm trying to look for a good one here. Okay. Where would you find the world's most ancient forest? It, wait, is it me? Uh, that's actually to Tony. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. The world's most ancient forest. Living or dead? So is this like petrified forest? Like the one in Arizona? Uh, or is yeah. this a living forest? It's the most ancient forest. And I'll give you that. The most ancient... But the, that said neither alive nor dead. Okay, you can, it could be alive or dead, and I don't know about it, but it is not in the U.S. It's not in the U.S. It is not right. in the U.S. I'll give you that. So, let's see, the most ancient forest. You're going to have to look down under for that. Down under? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you don't Google John Wayne. Don't look at me like that. I didn't like Google John <laughs> Wayne. Alicia gave the answer of John Wayne. Alicia's on a plane. Look, why do I? So you're texting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not texting her, I'm texting Skippy. You just said you were texting Alicia. So Prove it. Lying. What? Prove it. Well, shout your phone. We have this in the room. Okay. All right. <laughs> Mike, I got a camera Tony, on this right Tony, now. Tony, your final answer. You have five uh, seconds. My final answer. We're going to go with Queen's Forest. I'm going to go with Australia. <laughs> you didn't name the forest, therefore none of you are correct. Whoa. <clears throat> yeah. None of you are correct. Okay, well, fine. I'm going to go with the Forest of Tranquility. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. On the okay, moon. Okay. Wow. Both of them are made up. All right, all right. <laughs> so well, it goes to meet for the win. What was it, Mr. California? The answer is the, um, you know what, it's called the Buffon Forest, and it's in Australia, but you have to name the Australia. Well, that's Bushley. He said, where is it? Well, no, he said, what is it? Prove it. We have this recording. We have this recording. We have this recording? Yeah. Okay. Just check it. Just make it sure. That's what you said. Okay. I'll, here's a one. If, this is gonna be worth two points if if you can get it. This is from Mike. This is from Mike. What is New Year's Eve called in Scotland? New Year's Eve called in Scotland. I'm going to go with New Year's Eve. That is incorrect. Mike. I mean Tony. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see. Uh, I do believe the the old song "Old Lang Syne" is from the same nationality as Scotland, uh, and I have terrible eyes. <laughs> so this isn't working, Jen. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm seeing they're cheating. I have a counter question. Okay, you have a counter question. After he gives his answer. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you have a counter question to the question? Yes. Yeah. Or. All right. Exactly. All right. More information or what? Next question goes to Mike. What year did the Do you know what it is? What year did the Cold War end? What year did the Cold War end? The Cold War, if I'm not mistaken, ended when the Berlin Wall fell. What year was that? 91. 89. I have a counter question. My dad was in the Cold War on a submarine. Counter question. For the win. All right, if I can answer this. Whoa. <laughs> what, is, what is the day after Christmas called in England? Boxing Day. Yeah, I know, I won. I know. <laughs> All right, since this is going to be the final question, uh, Mike, if you, I mean, Tony, if you don't get this, then uh, this, the question is going to go over to Mike. Now, the question is, who is the victor of Super Bowl VI? Of Super Bowl VI. Super Bowl six. That's well, right. it's a sports question. Uh, seeing as I am obviously not a sports guy, but I've always been a Packers fan, we're going with the Green Bay Packers. That is incorrect. Packers won Super Bowls one and two. Mike, 
the answer to that? Cowboys. That is incorrect. Oh. I still won. That was the last question. I have more points, so I win. Final, Final score. Four. Final score. The end point was four. All right, Nobody fine. won. Okay. okay. <coughs> All right. All right. Fine. That is correct. That is correct. Right. Why don't Why don't we <laughs> Why don't we take a break and come back after the next break and go for the Final countdown. Okay, that's good. That's final good countdown. That's good. That's I feel good. like, I feel like we need some theme music for this. We can't. Well, the theme music already ended right now. So next time we're coming up to you guys, such great heights by Postal Service. But don't go away because when hey, we come back, and that was requested the victor, by John. The vi and that was requested by John. Well, when you come back, the victor of the Light Pop Smack Challenge.